Welcome back. Now in this session, we're going to be area milling the pocket, the deep pocket right here. So let's get that started. I'm going to move my view to the top view over here. And we're going to be area milling this pocket right here. So to get to do that, go to toolpath. And we're going to actually go to 2D high speed. Make sure 3D is selected and open chain and select this chain right here. It should also should all be one chain. Click OK. Now go to area mill. Make sure area mill is selected. Go to tool and we want to use a one inch flat end mill again. Let's go to cut parameters. Let's enable smoothing for this one. Make sure we have smoothing uh, operation going so we can have the small rounded nice rounded edges uh, on every edge of the or every corner of that pocket. And we're going to leave 0.01 of stock on the wall. Let's go to depth cut. Make sure depth cut is enabled about a quarter inch so we don't wear our tool out too much. And one finish cut about 0.05 steps down. And let's go to transition. Let's make sure entry and helix is enabled. And also output 3D arc moves. Now let's go to Lincoln parameters. And a different thing we're going to use here is we're going to use incremental for stop, top of stock. What that means is that it does not machine air on the way down. It basically starts off where that on the same level of where the geometry is, where we select our geometry and it goes down. So it doesn't sit there and machine air on top of that stock, because remember, that stock is actually three inches thick and we already machined it down one inch for that circle in the middle. So we want to start at where we selected the edge and go down. So we, for that case, we, we use incremental, top of stock zero, and we change this negative to uh, the depth to negative 1.5 inches. Because we are going down negative one and a half inches from that, let's go apply and go on the click on the check mark, and there you go. So let's go ahead and click on 3D, back plot it, and verify it. So let's go ahead and actually back plot and verify everything. Make sure everything is working correctly the way it should be. And see, now, if you notice, actually, it did not actually machine it down from our uh, from the level that we did it, but it made it made it actually from the top of the stock down one and a half inches. So we're going to actually have to come down here and change that. So our mistake was, I'm going to go back, actually, to open up my 2D high-speed area mill, and I'm going to click over here on parameters. And what I forgot to do is that I went negative one and a half inches. But that's only because I went negative one and a half inches thinking I'm going to need it one and a half inches down from here. But actually, I'm going to need it one, two and a half inches from the top. So not just one and a half inches, but two and a half inches from the top. So let's go ahead and change that. I'm going to change this to negative 2.5 inches. Click on OK. Let's go ahead and back plot it. Make sure to check them all, back plot them, and there it is. And let's go ahead and verify it. And this should fix our error. And there we go. Again, I am placing and keeping all the errors that I make in my videos. This way, in case you make those errors again or similar ones, you will know what to do to fix them or how to go back and fix them. So hopefully you're learning from my way and my strategy of teaching because that's the way I like to teach. I like to see errors being made when I see video tutorials because it helps me learn how to fix them later on. And there you go. Now it's doing my pocket. And there you go. Now it did it to the correct depth. There you go. And we're completely done with this session.